Hey folks, here's a general wargaming update for you. I haven't given one of these in a while. I got some of my 10mm Napoleonics out at the moment. I uh, had a few games uh, over the weekend. It was really fun. Loved it. We, I played on a smaller table this time where my units were basically uh, small. Two, unit, two stands in a unit like this. Uh, about half what I would normally play with as far as table space. My units, I prefer to play with units of about six infantry stands uh, and four for cavalry and artillery, but with blue sure you can play with smaller uh, base, base number of bases in your units, like I did here. So this would be a brigade, this would be a battery, uh, cavalry would be a single base, there would be a brigade of hussars. doesn't look like much, obviously, compared to say this here, where a brigade of four stands of cavalry like that. That's normally what I would be playing with but, uh, on a 6x4 table. But this is just as good. So no changes to the rules, just the, uh, the size of the units and the layout. I made some of these whippy sticks from GW. Uh, this one in this case is <coughs> spaced at uh, 30 centimeters or 3 centimeters, sorry, 30 millimeters. This is what they look like nothing on them. Basically what I did is I took tape, wrapped them around the blue parts here, uh, and then I spray painted it white, about three coats, and took the tape off. And then I uh, sealed it, three coats of sealer, matte sealer, uh, to protect the paint. I actually put some numbers in there to show what that represents in blue shirt. Uh, so yeah, so you can do that yourself. If you have lots of these little plastic whippy sticks, just get some spray paint, some tape, and go at it. Perfect. Looks great. So, yeah, that's for my smaller games, 3 centimeter base widths, which is what these are for small games. Well, small-sized units, anyway. Same-sized battles. And here's some of the rules I've been reading the past week, uh, and I love it. Of course, I've got Blucher right there. I just recently picked this up, Napoleon's Battles, 4th edition. Uh, pretty good so far. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So I'll probably give a little review or a look at with this later on. Actually, I haven't done any look at's for any of these books, so I might do that. And of course, I got my copy of General de Brigade once again. I used to have this, but a year ago, and somewhere it disappeared. So I got that back. Look at that. Beautiful, good reading. Love it. So I got my hands full come 2016. Lots of Napoleonic battles, my friends. And I'm going to explore all these rules. And so far, I am quite taken with Blucher, of course. So, for a grand tactical battle. Napoleon's battles is grand tactical as well, but it's far more uh, deeper in the detail. Not necessarily a better game, it's just more detailed. So we'll see how that squares up with Blucher. Uh, General Brigade and Black Powder, of course. General Brigade has a lot more flavor. Black Powder, of course, but uh, a little bit more detail. Excellent set of rules, but I'll go into that some other time. Uh, what else did I do? Made up some of these unit cards for my Russians, for Blucher. It's basically a Prussian card uh, in a card sleeve. Looks like this. That's the Prussian card. And these are your do-it-yourself cards. You can download off the Honor Games website, which is, you know, Sam Mustafa's uh, website for his rules, Blucher, and Maurice, and all those other goodies. And I put them inside a protector sleeve like this, so I've got my Russian units as a card. So that's pretty cool. And that is an infantry, Russian infantry. And they have the steadfast trait, which I drew that on. And I fixed their Elan level at 6, and normally the card comes with 8. So you have the option of having whatever you want, you just cross them out. And there you go. Awesome stuff. And I did make, of course, my dice pods. I'm not sure I showed these off. These are for any game. Blucher, uh, General de Brigade, of course, Black Powder. Show hits or whatever. You can put that in there. I think I showed these off in my last video. And did that. Got some of these card protector boxes to keep my uh, Blucher cards and other cards. Because once you put them in these uh, little uh, sleeves, they're pretty much, you know, fat. You gotta put them in here instead of the box they come in. So that's what I've been doing, my friends. Uh, 
among other things, I did move my painting station over to the corner of the room. I don't know if you can see that too well. That's where it all happens, my friends. <clears throat> I was painting on my tabletop before, but I couldn't play any games that way. So here we are. I'm back to my desk area. And, of course, I'm working on my... Uh, I can't see that, but I'm working on my... Uh, Russian Grenadiers. And I have a musketeer unit I'm working on, two batteries of artillery, and some cuirassier for the Russians. So there you go, folks. That's what I've been working on. It's my general update. I'll have another one shortly. Uh, okay, folks. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Hope you enjoyed.